When he was young, acoustic engineer Dennis Foley would wait until his parents went out, then carry his sound system from room to room looking for the best sound. He had realized after his first move to a new house and bigger bedroom that where the speakers were placed made as much difference to their sound as their size. Cue a lifelong quest to create the perfect acoustics. Foley began working for a company that built high-end office buildings. The people who worked there didn't want the discussions they had in meeting rooms to be heard outside them, he says. His challenge was to design buildings that stopped sound traveling. He took over two of the company's properties and turned one into a bunk room for a select group of engineers, the other into a soundproofing research lab. I'd walk through the room every morning banging pots and pans to wake them up, he says. Then they'd spend their days figuring out how to make the world less noisy. One day, Foley was in the office kitchen when he noticed a light flashing on the filter on the tap. He tried to change it but couldn't get it unscrewed. So I did what I always do. I hit it with a hammer, he says. Inside were hundreds of balls of carbon to filter the water, which made him wonder if they might also be able to filter sound. If he could put them in a sound treatment unit, it might absorb some of the more problematic frequencies and help him realize the perfect room. The first prototype was a revelation. The second was even better. He perfected his carbon balls, working out precisely which dimensions were best suited to what audio issues. Then, the company he was working for was sold. He retired to his listening room and got bored. So he bought a milling machine and launched his own company, Acoustic Fields, to create the perfect sound filter. Foley's technology belies the idea that more speakers mean better sound. He likens it to water in a glass. Keep adding liquid and you don't have more water, just more mess. His units stop sound bouncing around, so the muddiness that plagues most speaker systems disappears. It's like the bands are playing straight into your ear. It's safer too, since the engineer doesn't need to push the speakers to tinnitus-inducing levels. His boxes now decorate the walls at Capitol Records, Sony Masterworks, and New York's Electric Lady Studios, founded by Jimi Hendrix. This year, he's engineering a new nightclub in London from the ground up. In an arch beneath Waterloo Station, he'll prove that less is more, and hopefully, buck the trend of London's decaying nightlife. His tech is also good news for clubbers. When you can get better sound from fewer speakers, there are fewer reasons to shut clubs. He's also working on the perfect listening room, where he can enjoy his music as it was meant to be heard. You sit in there and it's just, wow. His hi-fi will finally have a permanent home. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis so that'll help you. Thank you.